One cow is milked at a time, each with its own name and a defined order. The same 32 cows are always used. We maintain an average milk production between 25 and 28 liters per day. Across the entire farm, we have different milking points. Additionally, we utilize some foliar fertilizers and perform a pre-dipping with iodine solution. This is Israel Farm located in San Pedro de los Milagros. It is a 10 hectare property where we manage a single herd of lactating cows, a group of dry cows, and some prepartum cows under a stabling regime. Here the milking system takes place in the pasture. The cows rotate and the worker moves the milking area according to this rotation. The milking points are strategically distributed across the farm, allowing the worker to perform milking in line with the rotational management system. Every day we provide concentrate in the morning and afternoon to assist with milking. The milk is transported in buckets or cans to the cooling tank. And this is a profitable system with minimal infrastructure and costs. The property is not suitable for installing a fixed milking parlor due to its dispersed topography. There is an additional area about 400 meters away that does not allow integration. Therefore, the vacuum milking system in the pasture is highly efficient as it prevents cows from moving to a milking parlor, improving their comfort and welfare. This simple system results in high production and profitability. We perform reproductive monitoring every 20 days and use fixed time artificial insemination. The average production varies between 25 and 28 liters per cow depending on the season and forage availability. Profit margins from sales range from 20% to 30%. The cows enjoy tranquility and comfort on the 10 hectares of Kikuyu grass pastures. The rotational management involves a 22-day cycle. After the cows leave a pasture, we carry out fertilization, prioritizing the use of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and foliar fertilizers between the 6th and 8th day. We also conduct pest and fungus control applications. The average nitrogen application is between 700 and 900 kilograms per hectare per year. This system supports a stocking rate of four animals per hectare and maintains a profitability of 20% on sales. Currently, we operate with an average production of 27 liters per cow in a simple, efficient, and profitable system. Currently, we conduct milking at two stations with 32 cows, the majority being Holstein, with some crossbreeds with Jersey. The diet consists exclusively of pasture, supplemented with concentrate, provided in the morning and afternoon. We prepare feeding tables based on milk production, adjusting the concentrate supply according to production levels and pasture management. Although this is a farm with simple management and low infrastructure, without significant investments in technology, we strictly adhere to management parameters. We perform routine palpation and monitor reproduction every 21 days, paying close attention to pregnancy rates and established reproductive goals. We use fixed time artificial insemination, which is carried out directly in the pasture all reproductive management is conducted with artificial insemination. With this simple and well-established system, we achieve good results. Currently, our average is 27 liters per cow per day based on pasture and concentrate. Production levels vary according to forage availability and weather conditions, reaching averages between 25 and 29 liters. This is a functional, simple, and profitable system. Now let's follow how milking is performed. Every day, in the morning and afternoon, Alonso organizes the management tasks. For example, this afternoon he prepares the milk cans and the concentrate to be used the next morning. 
This ensures that everything is ready for milking in the morning. During the morning milking, he provides the necessary concentrate for that session, and in the afternoon, he restocks the concentrate to be used during the next day's milking. The milk collected is taken to the cooling tank the same day. Even with this system, we achieve colony forming unit counts between 5 and 10, indicating clean milk quality. Even though milking is done directly in the pasture and without an immediate cold chain, this result allows us to receive bonuses for the quality of the milk. Our goal is to organize the entire system here. Once everything is set up, we will demonstrate how the milking system works, how the vacuum is applied, the milking process, and operational details. One critical aspect of this system is overgrazing and the constant need to relocate the milking areas. For example, ideally milking should be conducted in the pasture where the cows will graze to avoid excessive trampling and regrowth consumption. However, in the current model, cows must return to the previously grazed pasture the following day for milking, which presents a limitation. To address this issue, we have established different milking points across the farm. This reduces the frequency of worker movement and improves pasture management efficiency, allowing for longer recovery periods for the pastures between grazing cycles. Using a connection, the vacuum pump, located approximately 800 meters to one kilometer away, is activated. The vacuum is conducted through 1.5 inch diameter hoses to the milking site where it is connected to a canister equipped with adapted pulsators. These pulsators are in turn connected to the teat cups which utilize vacuum pressure for milking. The cows enter one by one, always in the same order, with their names identified. The system is very calm allowing each cow to be milked individually while respecting the established routine. During the process, the cows are handled with care and all work is carried out meticulously. Milk is collected after forest stripping and the initial cleaning. As previously mentioned, the milk quality is verified and we consistently maintain colony forming unit counts between five and 10 indicating a product of excellent quality. We conduct CMT checks directly in the pasture and perform weekly milk production weighing. This monitoring helps us calculate the ideal amount of concentrate for each cow, adjusting the diet according to its production. Despite being a simple system with low cost infrastructure, we achieve excellent milk quality, efficient reproduction, and profitable production. Currently, we have 33 lactating cows spread over 10 hectares with separate groups for milking dry cows and propartum cows, which are housed. The milking routine is conducted similarly to a conventional parlor. We start with forest dripping, followed by pre-dipping with an iodine solution. Then the teats are cleaned with paper, one disposable paper per teat before attaching the teat cups. After milking, the teat cups are removed and we seal the teats. Everything is done in the field, directly in the pasture, but following the same principles as a modern milking parlor. The collected milk fills the cans, and when one is full, we simply connect an empty one to continue the process. The filled cans are gathered and later transported by animals to the cooling tank.